Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedging Lee with a morning update <clears throat> for Bitcoin. All right. Overnight prices was pretty uneventful. And I still remain to the fact that we need to see higher highs. What I mean by that is we need to go past 16,363. Because then that means that we'll, we will be well on our way to wave three. And if that's the case, if we do see a higher highs, then my opinion after that will be all time new highs dead ahead. Now there's different ways of labeling this. We can bring wave one here, wave two here, absolutely. No worries on that count. And then what we can be saying will be that we can then label this as waves, subwaves of wave three. So wave one, wave two, but it doesn't still change the fact that we need higher highs. So if wave three comes here, wave four, wave five, which probably means that we need to extend this Wait, three, a little higher. I don't have any problem with that, do you? Higher highs in Bitcoin. And therefore, that should bring us to the 26K that we're looking for for Bitcoin, ideally. So, and this wave three, actually, I, I had been calling for the 23K now for a couple of weeks, I think, maybe a week and a half, should be hit by this blue wave. I think therefore it is important for us to see this new higher highs. As soon as we see price going over 16,600, that'll be a key short-term hurdle. So I'm gonna write that 16, Four five five. So as, as soon as we see the price going decisively above, decisively above that, it would be the most ideal situation for us to carry. And if that's the case, then we should see higher highs towards the 23K target. And again, I'm, I would ref use the fractal of this one, two, with this one, two, and another fractal of one, two. So we're seeing maybe a nested one, two, and we should, could see a stale step direction upwards. So that is called nested one, twos. And you can easily look this up, I believe, in the Blue Elliott Wave Principle book. And quite often, this is what throws off a lot of the beginning Elliott Wave counters. They think, oh my gosh, what do I do? I have two peaks here, so I do one, two, three, four. No, and that's not correct. And that means that you need to go one, two, one, two, for three. This is why this one, two of three is nested within the higher degree of trend one, two. Okay? And that is what it means by nested one, two. And you can have a, a, a double nested one, two with one, two of three, which is pretty much what you've got almost here, I think. So this is my primary count. So I think the next thing I would consider would be maybe an alternate count. So always having an alternate account would be a very good thing to have, I think, <clears throat> because it allows you to get a little more awareness. And as I always say, awareness keeps the panic away. And that is to do see if we can, if the C is not finished, we can potentially see a lower lows. But to me, it was really not that much of a difference because it's just a different pathway to the same destination. 
And if that's the case, so be it. If it goes to a lower low, I'd be buying at the end of the terminal end of the ABC correction if the C goes to here. If the C goes to here, I'll be buying right here. Ladder and casting my ladders. Because what do I, when is the best time to buy? The best time to buy is at the terminal end of an ABC correction. And if that's the case, lower lows would get me excited. I'm sitting on a pile of cash, dry powder, ready to deploy. This is why having constant exposure, constant balance of 10 to 15% of your portfolio as cash is highly advantageous. So once you get a dip, you can do the BTFD. In a scenario like this. So overall, let's see how the price will take us for the during, during the daytime today. And if there's anything urgent, I will do the best I can to do, to do a midday update. And I, I, I will have a few hours today <clears throat> because it is um, a little bit earlier. And what I will do is I will try and catch up with the analysis request that's been piling up. And if no midday updates are required, I will talk to you guys again during an evening update tonight. Thank you and have a good one.